Walk up this morning, think I'm about to go some of the day. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, Ari Lennox goes on tr tr uh, Twitter tirade after podcaster Mike G sexual interview questions goes viral. I was hearing stuff about Ari Lennox saying that she want to get dropped from Dreamville because they're not pushing her and they're not like really, you know what I'm saying? And you got the image of J. Cole at Dreamville, but you don't got her, you know? They're pushing everybody else besides her and she's feel excluded or something like that. I don't know everything. I'm going to let my sister right here talk. You know, shout out to R&B only. You know, I'm going to have to subscribe, support, you know, support another music channel. I have to. I have to. Let's get into Only it. News, the premier source of news and trending topics in today's R&B world. I'm Joe V.E. holding it down and letting you know what's going on. Okay. A problematic question asked during a recent interview with Ari Lennox led to a storm of tweets by the singer. Okay, so South sign. African podcaster Mac oh, G no. seemed to have offended Ari after asking her personal questions about her sex life during an online interview. And where we at right now? Is someone fucking you good right now? Are you oh my married? God! Whoa there. <laughs> um, I'm not happy. Whoa, that's a wild question. <laughs> Why that way? Why ask it that way? Whoa. Because that's what you say in the song, you know what I mean? I oh, love that part. <laughs> what did I say, did I say that? I said that song? Yeah. Don't you remember that song? I do, but I don't, I don't, I didn't, oh, I guess I did say that. I did say that. Okay. <laughs> Let me, um, okay, you just threw, you caught me off guard there, but uh, I did say that, but no, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm not messing with anyone. In her most recent tweets, she reflects on the interview and initiates a broader conversation about the over-sexualization of women and the perpetuation of rape culture. She also claps back at commentators who attempt to correlate Mac G's questioning with the singer's open sexuality in her lyrics. Women in the music industry have been subjected to abuse and harassment for decades. The onset of the hashtag MeToo movement has empowered women to speak out and hold individuals accountable for predatory behavior. Nasty as hell. Ari joins a long list of women who have decided to speak out and defend themselves against physical and verbal harassment. It appears she may also be done giving interviews for good? We ride out at dawn because I don't think so. She already mentioned that she's given her team complete control over her Instagram, which means we probably aren't gonna be getting any more iconic IG lives from her. And now no interviews, I would be crushed. Let's talk about this questioning. Let's talk about this podcaster. Um, did you all see a problem with his line of questioning? Do you think yeah. artists should be questioned in that manner about what they put in their songs? Personally, I think I think it was weird. Um, after more digging around, it seems like he doesn't have that same energy whenever he's interviewing men, and that's where it gets weird. I can see if people are signing up to get asked uncomfortable questions on camera because that's one thing but if you're asking these uncomfortable questions just for women and not having that same energy when men come on your podcast that's where it gets weird and it gets creepy and predatory let's talk about it if you guys feel differently let me know well regardless of what you put in music as an interviewer, you don't just... Certain topics you shouldn't talk about because it discredits you as the interviewer. This Mac G, whoever this wannabe dude is, looking creepy talking to Ari Lennox. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why he looking like that? He looking like a predator. I don't see... I don't see why he want to act something like that. I know she might say something in lyrics or like might say something in her songs with lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean you have to just throw it out there. You can be like, are you seeing anyone? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you married? You know, like ask questions like that. That's understandable. But are you just like, so your titty's big, huh? Like, what the, what? Bro, that's weird. You don't go up to, you don't. You don't go up to that's you don't that's not how you talk to women. 
Not only that's not how you talk to women. He he that's not how you talk to women. My dad would tell me you don't talk to women by sexualizing them. Talk to them like everyday people. Because they are everyday people. They're humans just like you. You don't have to like, okay. Because like, I got a girlfriend, right? I don't sexualize other women. I don't need I don't have no reason to. Cause I already get my sexual pleasure and my sexual needs from my from my girlfriend. And even if I don't, I'm still okay. You know why? Because there's other ways to handle that. Like, sex not everything. That's weird when you feel like sex is everything. It's really not. You could literally I'm gonna say it. I know a lot of dudes, I don't know them like that no more, but I knew a lot of dudes that'd be like, yeah, I get all these girls and everything else. I'm like, bro, that's weird. Get one girl if you want to do that. Experiment, do what you want to do, but don't break all them girls' hearts. Because sex is soul ties. My mom told me that. Granted, me and my mom and I have the best connection and the best relationship right now. When I say connection, I mean relationship. Um, But she always told me, value your seed. My dad, value your seed. People that make predatory shit, they honestly need to be beat with a wet rope. Real talk. Beat with a red rope. You know. Because, cause like, I don't know. I see that a lot now. Like, dudes always talking about this and that and this. And they over-sexualizing women. And I ain't gonna lie, some women over-sexualize themselves now. And it's like sex sales, but who really cares about sex? Sex is not all that, to be honest with you. It's really not. At least not to me. Like, <laughs> now I'm a Scorpio. The sex not all that to me. It's like, you're only going to get you so far in a relationship. If we ain't here, we're not connected here, regardless of the sex. It's going to be mean, meaningless. Like, it's not going to matter at the end of the day. That being said, I agree. That's weird. That's not cool. Dude should get canceled for that. That's cancel shit. Like, we need to start canceling people like that. Do predatory stuff. Especially when it comes to black women and black men. That's fucked up. That being said, be sure to like, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. I, I agree with what the what, um, lady from R&B only had to say. My bad, I'm bad with names. I'm, my, my apologies. But yeah, shout out to her. And yeah. That being said, peace. Let's turn to the next video. Ariel the Poet.